Hey sisters, it's Ray Charles here. Welcome back to my channel. And I don't know how to start the intros. Like I always feel like super awkward. I never know what to say. But basically I got this idea because James Charles did a video where he used charcoal to draw something and charcoal is like my thing. So I am gonna use makeup to draw James Charles. We love an artsy sister. And today's video is gonna be a really relaxed video. Like I haven't done a video in a while where I just focus on just the artwork and like I put my all into an artwork. You know, I'm really proud of how it came out and I, I really enjoy it and I think it was pretty creative. So um, yeah, it's just a short intro today guys. And without further ado, uh, we'll just go ahead and start. Has my hair been like that the whole intro? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Sister. So I went out to Dollar Tree and I bought like a lot of like filler stuff, like stuff that I don't want to, because I obviously don't want to waste, you know, like my good makeup because if it doesn't work out, you know, I don't want to just waste $40. So I went out and I got like, oh God, oh God, oh shit. So I went out to Dollar Tree and got like a bunch of like filler makeup that I can just like easily throw away. Um, I whipped out all of my most like neutral palettes that I think would make a really great skin tone. So like obviously the Tarte and Bloom palettes, uh, the Jaclyn Hill palette is such a universal palette. Like look at all those skin colors right there. Of course we got a contour palette, but this isn't as pigmented as eyeshadows. And this poor, poor soul that was once my modern Renaissance palette. But it's super, super, super pigmented, so like I think I'll be able to make a really good face out of just the colors from this. Oh, and then I found this in... I don't think this is considered makeup. Like, it's in the beauty aisle, so I'm just... I'm gonna count it. But this will be so good for highlights, like the eye highlight. Oh, yes. And I spend way too much money on makeup, but I feel like out of all the makeup I have, that every single one of these will serve as a good function, a good purpose. And I can really make... Shishtar, come alive. Well, hopefully. I don't know. Alright, sisters, let's get to the sister sketching, sister. I know, I'm probably gonna say it so many times throughout this video. I just, I can't help it. James is really known for having, like, that really face-tuned look to his pictures, which I love. And so sketching himself was actually not that hard. Like usually I kind of struggle with some proportions at times, but like this was so easy. Like his face was so proportionate, everything was in order. His skin was smooth, which as an artist, I appreciate that, you know, we generally hate like a lot of detail, but yeah, it was super easy to draw that. The worst part comes to an absolute no surprise to anybody was the hands. Like they're already kind of like in a strange angle and then I had to like really pull them in so they would fit on the piece of paper. The sketch itself took maybe about 10 minutes and then the hands, according to my memory card, took about 30. But that's okay because that leads us to the non-boring part. Boom. Time for the makeup. Which actually was a lot of fun. Like, I've been doing my makeup now since I was, every single day since I was like 14 or 15. I'm now just turned 25, you know, old lady. And it was, I don't know, it was such a cool experience to like, I'm literally doing the exact same thing that I do on my face, except on a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm sure you can tell by now that that is like hella streaky. There's just trouble in sister paradise. Like, I don't know what it was. Like the powders weren't, I don't know if it was just they weren't pigmented enough or if they had too much oil, but God, it was so hard to blend them. And in the end, you're gonna see what I ended up doing to fix it. But throughout this whole entire video, like your girl is gonna be struggling. Sister struggling, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop saying sister now because I feel like I'm getting on everyone's nerves. So James is looking a little rough right now. So we need to add in some eyebrows because eyebrows are the window to the soul. <laughs> and just like an actual eyebrow, I'm gonna go in with a powder first. In this case, I'm using an eyeshadow from the Tarte in Bloom palette, which by the way, is one of my favorite palettes of literal all time. If you even wanna get into makeup, I highly recommend it. Look at me, like a beauty guru. Uh, next up, I'm going to be going in with an eyeliner pencil. And out of all the shades that I chose, even though in the picture his eyebrows look really, really dark, I chose to go in with a brown pencil. That way they could look a little bit lighter and it won't be like as a heavy contrast on the face. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, I'm gonna go in with contour, which is really weird because I never thought I'd be like contouring and drawing. So carving out, of course, like the cheekbones, shadows in his face, and try to blend the crap out of it. I'm 97,000% sure they're aliens with how perfect their skin is. Like, nobody's skin is that perfect. And if it is, like, share your secrets, girl. The next step in creating Mr. Charles is probably the part I was most excited for. Like, this was the first thing out of all the makeup products that I bought because I was so excited to do this, and that is creating the eyeliner, giving it a nice wing, you know, getting some like false lashes on there, and just like, ooh, just like really adding to the picture. Speaking of making it pop, I'm gonna go in with a liquid lipstick by Wet n Wild to fill in the lollipop. Since it's such a saturated color, it pretty much reminded me of acrylic paint. And out of all the products that I used, maybe besides like the liquid eyeliner, the liquid lipstick was phenomenal, especially for the lips. Like I just mixed two colors together as so. Next up, uh, I'll be working on the arch nemesis that is hands, but honestly like his hands weren't too crazy Like once I got the basic shape down from the drawing It was a matter of fact of just like adding shadows and just trying to make it look like a hand You know and there was a little bit of a learning curve to try to like get it to look right But actually I had a lot of fun doing his hands Next up, oh, I love this palette like I love this palette it is just the i'm like allergic to like some of the colors and i still use them that's how much i love this palette and that's the jacqueline hill palette i mean everybody knows jacqueline hill especially if you're on youtube she's basically like a makeup guru who paired up with a makeup brand to create this palette oh it's everything and I love the powders, it worked really great, but I don't think that it's gonna get the job done. It's not precise enough. So I'm going in again with the liquid uh, eyeliner that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna flick little tiny hairs all over the drawing, just to like imply like, hey, there's some hair going on, there's some highlights going on. Current time, three o'clock in the morning. And at this point, I was like, I just cannot get over the clumpiness of the face. I don't know what it is, just like contour powders don't layer well on top of paper for some reason. So I completely had to redo it. And in the end, I am so glad I did it because it looked so much smoother, everything looked clean, and it looks like an actual person who's wearing makeup, which makes your face absolutely flawless. Uh, oh my god, you can see my face. This is my first time watching this footage and I didn't realize like I was in the frame. I, oh my god. Anyway, um, so I didn't want to just leave it a white hoodie, so I decided to experiment a little bit with the powders in that Bad Habit palette. And it's a really pretty palette, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't know how to wear hot pink eyeshadow and not look like I got punched in the face. And finally, to complete the look, I've always wanted to say that on my video, I'm using this white acrylic, is it acrylic? I don't know. I'm using this white nail polish just to like add on some shimmer to the eye, make it look a little bit alive, and just give it some more dimension. And here is the final piece. I know that in spirit I made James Charles proud today. And I had a really good time. Like, I haven't just sat down and did art for you guys in a really long time. And it feels good. It feels good to get back into it. I don't have any outros today, but I am going to post this on Instagram if you want to go check that out there. Of course, I'll leave all my other links, like my second channel and stuff, down below. And, yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you next video. Bye! Bye!